Hi friends, we all have shaded areas in our garden or under the bedroom window and we often wonder what could be planted there. Worry not, I have a simple solution for you. Welcome to Swap to Green and I'm Swapna. For all those shady areas in your garden, Hellebos is the answer. Also known as winter rose, they are perennial plants with gorgeous flowers, perfect for brightening up any shady areas from late winter to early spring in New Zealand. They all grow to about 20 to 30 centimeters and are very easy to establish and very easy to care for. A couple of hellebo plants from the garden center the other day and today I'm going to show you how to plant them. Before we start we'll need compost, dolomite lime, mulch and of course our plant. You can see that I have selected my bedroom window which gets very little sunlight which is perfect for hellebores. For light hellebores prefer full to part shade. Whilst they are shade lovers, they can do better with a little sun. Hellebores prefer to grow in rich, well-drained soil. So prepare the soil well before planting by digging in lots of compost and aged manure. You can see that I have already prepped the soil and dug two holes. I have spaced them out about 40 cm apart. There are a variety of colors to choose from. So you can either mix and match or use the same colors for uniformity. You can use an organic compost and dolomite lime as they like alkaline. Do check the back of the bag for the recommended amount. This would make sure that the plants are healthy and grow well. Once you have prepped the soil and made a nice deep hole, place the plant inside to check if it fits in. To plant them, try to give the pot a good squeeze in case it's root bound. Place your hand on top of the pot and just take them out carefully. Make sure to loosen the roots. This helps for the plant to establish itself faster. Now fill the area with soil and press down firmly and that's done. Mulch is used to retain moisture in the soil, suppress weeds, keep the soil cool and prevent frost heaving in winter. It also makes the garden bed look more attractive. And finally, water them. Before we continue, here are the top 3 photos of the fortnight. For those who are new to this channel, please send your nature photos to swap to green nz at gmail.com. This beautiful picture of the azaleas was sent by Jaya in Canada. Look how vibrant they are. This marvelous view in Nokpante, Meghalaya, India is what you get after you climb steep rocks. Clicked by Mary. She explains that nature finds its own unique, beautiful way to express itself. This is Mount Taranaki in New Zealand and clicked by Raj. The name Taranaki comes from Tara meaning mountain peak and Naki means glistening, referencing the snow covering mountains. Thank you so much for sending these photos through. guides for hellebores. Plant them in autumn or winter and the flowers bloom from June through September in New Zealand. Make sure to keep your plants fed and well mulched all year round. They'll also grow in pots but make sure to feed with a slow release fertilizer twice a year. Water regularly when the plant is young and occasionally once settled. Keep the soil topped with rich compost and give them a small dose of slow release fertilizer in autumn, a sprinkle of dolomite lime before flowering season and mulch. They are easy to propagate. If plants become overgrown, 
divide and replant them in new locations in spring just after they have finished flowering and pull out plants that you don't need as they can spread. Finally, look out for pests like slugs and aphids. Shaded areas can be boring as hell. Just flip it around and you get hellebores. They are all you need to make the boring colorful. Until we meet again, it's bye from me Swapna. Meanwhile, think green, act green, swap to green.